the woman said her finances had been tipped over the edge due to London's ultra-low emission zone, ULES. Sadiq Khan was confronted by an emotional LBC caller who said the ULES scheme had left her unable to afford food. Sarah from Croydon spoke to the London mayor as he took part in a phone-in on presenter James O'Brien's show this morning. The mother of one said she had to leave her home under a no-fault eviction last year and has been living in emergency accommodation provided by the council since. Sarah said she does not get universal credit despite being a single parent as she has been told she earns too much, and that her housing benefit falls far short of covering her. She said, before I had £300 to £400 left over for me to buy food and other essentials after my bills. Now because of ULES and because I live so far I'm spending that £300 on ULES. So that means every single month I'm wiped out before I even start my month. I'm in perpetual overdraft and debt because I can't afford to feed myself, feed my daughter and even buy essentials. Right now I'm waiting for payday just to buy milk. People like me are left out of the equation because the council says I earn too much, Universal Credit says I earn too much. But you've got ULES that's come and taken my money that I had to buy these things, now I don't have any. Mr Khan said he was desperately sorry for the plight you're facing. On ULES, he added, we've now increased the scrappage scheme so anybody in London is eligible now. 41,000 people have taken advantage of the scrappage scheme. Many have bought new vehicles. It encourage you to go to the TFL website to see what you're entitled to in relation to your car because that will reduce the pressures there are on you. But she questioned whether £2,000 from the scrappage scheme would be enough to buy a ULES compliant car and said she still had £3,000 left to pay on her previous vehicle. Mr Khan said, I say in a respectful way, you can get a ULES complaint car for the amount of money available on the scrappage scheme. For those who have got finance I'm afraid you will have to speak to your finance company because different finance companies have different rules in relation to paying back the finance. The London Mayor came under fire for expanding the ULES from central London to cover the whole of the capital last August in a bid to boost air quality. It means more drivers are being forced to pay the £12.50 daily charge for the most polluting vehicles.